So, this is my first time going to John Pennekamp Coral Reef State Park. And I know, I just checked, and the uh, dogs are allowed as long as they are uh, within six feet of you on the leash when outside the car, which is awesome because at Bahia Honda, they're not really allowed. I mean, except for very, very limited, specific areas like on the pavement and something stupid like that. Okay, I'm going to pay my fee. How much is it for me? Uh, Two fifty. Oh, I thought it was four. That's a good deal. Like a little map or anything? Sure, I'll give you this brochure. Great, thanks. Okay, I have a map, but I'm going to wing it for a minute because I can't try to drive and use a map at the same time and do videos, so... Okay, we're going to start the walking tour. I mean, I don't know how big it is. It's probably pretty big. I'm probably going to have to get back in my car and uh, drive later. But we'll just check this area out. It's a, it's a camping area over here. You got you see these pavilions and picnicking. And then the boat and trailer parking back here. For those bringing your boat. And then we've got the dive, uh, dive shop. Florida Keys National Marine Sanctuary. Okay, gas here. And then your dive shop, which is closed. God, what a gorgeous, gorgeous day. Perfect day for giving you guys a tour. It's a really nice uh, boat ramp. Nice and wide. No grass, no seagrass. We've got one of the tour boats coming in. There's a close up of how clean that boat ramp is. It's a great boat ramp. I'm not sure if the fuel is up since Irma or not. Um, I think it is. Yep, I think we got one of the tour boats coming in. Another one in the background there. You see there's a fish cleaning table at the end of the dock right over here to my right. Yeah, we got a tour coming in. Do a little pan around here. some uh, kayakers in the background there. Maybe the dive shop's open, it's just that they're not doing any scuba tours right now. I, I read a bunch of stuff online about it. So, I'll just walk in here and just check it out. And you got your public restrooms right here. Yeah, peeking inside the dive shop, they are obviously not open. Definitely doing some repairs in there. Their business hours if they were open. Another tour boat coming in. In background. So beautiful. I'm gonna go back this other way and see if there's some nature trails that look like there was. Yes, I am a purse dog person. Never thought I'd ever say that. But uh, yeah, she's in my purse right now. She's really good. She just goes everywhere with Mama. Uh, but we 
she needs a walk, so I'm going to put her on the leash. Okay, I think she's happy now. Uh, but I forgot her harness. It's attached to the other dog leash we have. And I absolutely hate having this around her neck. I just absolutely hate it. But I have to deal with what I got right now. And I think she would rather have that around her neck and not have a harness and not be able to go and walk around. So she'll have to make do and I'll have to just have, make an exception right now. FYI. FYI, pretty standard though. Okay, let's see where this goes. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if it's really a nature walk because I'm not seeing any little signs about it or not anything. It just might be a, a way to walk through the park. Let's see. Oh, well, I mean, I guess it's its own type of nature park, whether there's signs to that effect or not, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I guess it is kind of a little nature walk because it got this little lookout for us to check out this petrified tree, I think. I don't know, some rock, but I don't know, some kind of rock formation. I'm not sure. I mean, I guess this is just like campsites back here. I mean, it did say camping. And you've got your RVs and campers over there. So the other direction said uh, all the other fun stuff to do at the park, so I'm going to pause this and uh, head back over that way. So let's go check out the boat tour staging area. I'm not sure if I just said this on camera or not because like I said I can't tell sometimes if I'm actually pushing the pause on or off. Uh, the glare is so bad. Uh, but I'm going to check out the, the boat tour staging area. Apparently this is where you go on, you wait for the different tours to depart. Catfish in this spot, obviously. It looks like I'm looking out onto a lake and not the not a little bay in the ocean. Looks like we got a snorkeling group over here. Maybe they're waiting for their uh, gear or waiting to get it get it back or but they're gonna either they're going to go out on a tour or they just got back. Probably gonna go out since they're waiting around for one. And that makes more sense. All these kayaks for the kayak rentals. Cat dog? Yeah. Staff guy always thought my dog was a cat. Huh? <laughs> oh, I got the 
bathhouse, clean up after snorkeling or whatever. Thanks to Irma, we can't go up this way on this little bridge and get a view from it. So this is the bathhouse that I showed you earlier. Um, I'm going to give you a perspective of where we are. I want to see what this building is. Check out this tree. I love it. It's awesome. She wants to play. <laughs> All right, let's see what it says about this tree. The acquisition in 1963 of this land base for the John Pennekemp Coral Reef State Park was made possible by a generous donation from the Raymond whatever, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I thought I was going to say something cool about it. The tree, but it doesn't. Concession, boat tours, gift shops, snacks. I guess that's where you pay for all that that I just showed you over there. No, it's closed, so they must be paying somewhere else. Yeah, I guess they just, uh, you follow the arrows to go pay over there. Got some bicyclists and the best part, the beach over there. But uh, I'm saving that for last. The best for last. We still want to see what this this building is over here. Well, of course, obviously it is the visitor center and aquarium now. So it's a little more, a little extra than just the visitor center. I was uh, right to be a little more curious. Than thinking it was a just a visitor center. However, it's closed because of Irma. Let's see what this banner says. There's ranger programs. Well, I won't be. Uh to the beach, but maybe I can sneak on my purse for a few minutes. I'll show you the beach. Okay, baby's gonna go in the purse so we can go walk on the beach for a minute. I mean, I'm sure that's, you're not supposed to do that either, but I'm going to sneak her so I can finish this tour for you guys. Okay, we got her snug in the little purse. This beach is usually super crowded, but it's November 22nd, and uh, it's just moderately occupied, I would say. It's a nice little beach, kind of rocky, a little bit of seagrass from Irma. It doesn't have the 
real turquoise waters that a lot of the beaches do down here, but we are in a kind of a secluded bay. They don't always have the turquoise waters, the little bays. Very nice day, slight breeze. It's not super hot, but it's definitely warm enough to get into the water. Got some sailboats out there. It's kind of a little beach. So I can see how this could get really crowded in season. Just so, just know that. Season's usually around December to through springish, sometimes summer, depending. Nice and sandy up here, but at the same time a little compact. The sand's compact. It's not loose sand. Not too much loose sand. Birds up there, I love them. You can see it is a, a rocky beach. It's coral, basically. And hence the name of the park. Yeah, so you're going to want to wear your water shoes. Yeah, kind of a small, quaint beach. Definitely not one of our best beaches in the Keys, and uh, but it's not like they boast about it either, like it is. I just missed, I guess I just missed a bunch of little fish jumping, but then you just saw a few jump there. They're little fish. Just a bunch of them jumped all at once. Very, very rocky. But still, it's very serene and peaceful out here. It's very pretty. She's upside down in the purse. It looks really cute. Hey, Luna. You like to hang out upside down in the purse, huh? That water isn't cold at all. I would say slightly cool. to the beach area. I'm not sure if there's much more of this park. We've got the crocodile sign here. Crocodilians are present along the trails and waterways of this park. They usually eat fish, turtles, and other small animals, but may attack large animals such as deer. 
crocodilians have been known to attack humans. For your safety, do not swim with them. Do not swim with the crocodilians. Damn. I was really wanting to do that, too. That was like my, my, my life dream. To swim with a crocodile, you know, like you swim with the dolphins. I bet there really is a, I bet there really is a dream of some people. Just hanging out upside down, huh, Luna? We're at the Star Coral Pavilion. They've got all these nice little pavilions here to picnic at it. swampy area with the mangroves over there. Yeah, I was thinking in light of that sign I just read, I probably better not get too close to that swamp area. Aha, I bet it's just fine. So I'm going to take a final little swoop of this park. Uh, just to see, like, I'm gonna walk around a little bit more just to see if there's really anything else to it. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger. Like, I thought it was gonna be like Bahia Honda. Bahia Honda is huge. Well, huge, relatively speaking, for the keys. I'm not really seeing much more to this park. Maybe a few uh, little trails over in this area leading to some campsites. I'll double check though. Since about almost 100 videos ago, and two months ago, about two days before Irma hit, I took my first video, uh, Luna has been hanging out with me the whole time for all these videos. She's been taking this journey with me and you, with you and I, this whole time she's been, you didn't even know it, but she was on my arm in a purse, or I was, had on a leash, or getting her exercise, but she's taking this journey with us. When I say this journey, I mean not just this individual journey, but the journey of the beginning of my channel 100 videos ago, almost 100 videos ago. I think this is it. Yeah, but I think that's the whole tour, guys. I'm just going to do this last pan over the little bay area where the boat tours leave from, come and go. Very, very pretty. This area right here reminds me of like a little lake in the mountains. We forget that we're on the ocean. Although I'm not sure they have those big tour boats out on the lake. So. But uh, other than that, very pretty. Uh, I hope this helped if you're thinking about wanting to go to uh, John Pennacamp State Park. Um, I think the main thing is here they have the snorkeling tours and the kayaking and the canoeing and the paddle boarding and that's the real fun part and they used to have the aquarium and uh, scuba diving was the big thing here too but of course that's not up and going yet since Irma. Alright, there you go guys.